Hello and welcome to Season 1 of the K5 Championship. We are here at Myrtle Beach in the Arca car, the newly updated Arca car. Um, a car in which we needed a new paint. We uh, no longer have our cheddar scheme, unfortunately. And uh, Fastest lap for Roberts. I also did not have, did not find any paints I really liked too much. Not very many of them out there yet. So I uh, just got an eye racing stinky looking paint. <laughs> Um, I really have to focus during this Q-Lab, because there is high competition here, and I have to make the show. Same rules as uh, Season Zero. Um, gotta make it. Gotta make the show, so... Go or go home! Green flag, green flag. Okay, here comes your first time black. Okay, so far so good. One more lap. All right, I think that's an okay lap. We'll try to push a little bit here. Pole position. That was a nineteen point five. I tried to push a little bit more. Not quite gonna do it. But that first lap I'm very happy with. 19.5, that was an all-time best. Uh, I put in a lot of practice this time. I knew there was going to be a lot of people showing up for race one. I knew that uh, short tracks aren't always my specialty. So I put some time in. Really uh, found some settings I like, which I'll share here in a moment. And uh, I'm liking the way this looks so far. We got Gavin and Nick behind us right now. And uh, as of, you know, this moment, the rest of the field as well. Track felt more grippy right there than I expected, which really worked out for us. Woo! Nervous time. Feeling, uh, feeling like it uh, has subsided a little bit. So... Tires and the pants. Oh man, okay. So these are the settings I went with. During my practice, I found that uh, lower brake bias was made it a little too unstable for me in the corners. So I went 64%. I uh, put it 10 to 1 for extra, you know, reaction in the wheel. Short track seems to be okay. And uh, my personal preference, negative 15 steering offset. So that'll get us a 19.514. <laughs> uh, James would say, and, uh, well, this is awkward bringing the same paint, and uh, I don't have a paint. <laughs> you know, so I was like, I think you're, uh... Yeah. <laughs> so. I, uh, I am shocked by what I'm seeing right now. On a short track. We got the uh, invert, I think, though. I believe we have retained the invert. So I'm actually going to be starting 10th, if I'm not mistaken. Terrible Q labs. Is that. <laughs> oh, is that he talking about himself or just in general? People were having trouble with the Q labs. That's the end of the session. Pole position. Nice one. I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe I got a, a pole. Oh, is there no invert? I think it would say invert right here. Oh no, Kyle didn't make it. That sucks. Man. So 34 people this season. Justin unfortunately couldn't make it. He wasn't feeling well and I think he said he had to get up early. So how many people make it into the feature out of this? Hello, hello, bad drivers. Oh, no, Devin's, uh, Devin didn't make it either. I've raced with him before. Yeah, no one advances. He barely missed it, and he didn't even know until now. He thought that uh, he could make it. He's only got it there because it makes him set up at least one heat race. Oh, 
Wowzers. Okay. Oh god, now I gotta like not loop it on lap one or something stupid. <laughs> so we got Gavin and P2, Nick right behind us on the start. I qualified myself too, so I'm, uh, I'll be right behind you. I'll give you a lot of room. Mitch, short track dominance, Drunowski in fourth. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be the guy that self spins in front of everybody. That is exactly what I'm thinking. Just take it easy center. and I'll hang on your butt and take it easy too, and we'll see how things shake out. Good luck, everyone. Speaking of, you may have noticed uh, I, are, no, I also have the well. race, uh, what's it called? What's it called again? Race Labs. I, uh, I'm giving this a try right now. Um, just for a little bit of information, I think should be helpful to me. As we'll go ahead and take a peek what's going on in the heat race here. Um, just a couple laps, just out of necessity. Yeah, like Nick said, at least y'all get some air time. Not really sure I need the air time. Two minutes. And uh, I got race labs here, so this will tell me things like the strength That's of field. The once that he makes it that, uh, the last position that he races for, just everyone, but the last guy qualifies in, and then everyone just rushes for the final spot. And uh, it'll have our incidents at a glance. So that probably would have just turned I'll be able to see off. people's safety rating, which could be very useful information. Um, I'm pretty, tr I trust pretty much everyone here. But, uh, you know, in official races, if you see like a D class 1.3 or something, maybe give them a little extra space. That's stuff that could help me. So I really, really enjoy having this information here. Um, it shows you how close everybody is online. I kind of just tried to put it out of the way in the top left here, if maybe there's a better spot for it. Um, I'll consider it. I'll like consider moving it. Um, if anyone has any opinions on that, let me know. Just kind of want to keep it out of the way. It's just for informational purposes. So it's crazy. Yeah, you just have to fight for the one for like a few thousand of a second. It makes a big difference. So not inverting the top ten. Long races with cautions and tires, no need. I've just been practicing since today. I've been going all week. So I will be starting on pole for some reason. Oh I'm my god. Really practice for like five minutes. We got a good too. We got, I mean, obviously everyone's super close there, but... Considering how close everyone was. So our heat race here, three laps. See if anything goes on. Probably gonna get a lot of guys with duplicate paints if they just went to trading paints, because there aren't too many paints out yet since this car's brand new. The interior and everything, which you probably saw uh, during my Q effort. Looks very nice. Stinks that we lose the paints, but uh, I, <laughs> I will eventually find one I like on trading paints, I'm sure. And, uh, or maybe be able to make one on my own. I looked into it, but was not able to, like, get something together before this race here. I'm gonna keep looking at it and see if I can get anything done, but... Everyone looks pretty spread out. That's one, Devin. Devin gets the heat win, but, uh, I'm sure he wishes he didn't have to run it, having just barely missed the show. I'm so nervous. I cannot believe I qualified Have first. Fun, everybody. See you next week. I mean, I did. I did try hard, I guess, and practice a lot. <laughs> um, I was trying to make sure I got to this, though. I did not expect to get to this. You know. Perry, so. From the race. All right. Well, I, I guess we're starting. Can you kind of turn the warm up? Okay. Gonna get the car for a warm up so you can load the pants. Or my lack thereof. I guess he doesn't even need me to do that. Fogs rolled in. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get hit by a hurricane. By the way, dog off. Oh, wait a minute. I thought I was can How can implement the rain yet? Accurate Myrtle Beach weather for you. <laughs> yep, now it's the fog bowl, 175. Oh. 
That's funny. It looks like it does look like it's like gonna be a freaking hurricane. Eerie conditions out here at Myrtle Beach. That's not a high bar. Might be pulling in. <sighs> I should actually be out here, but I only got like 40 seconds. I'm just, uh, I gotta take some deep breaths, because, oh, I did not expect to be in the spotlight off the start. Pull sitter. Gavin, are we going to get like a wall counter in your video? How many times are you going to play this the wall? cloud cover's yeah. really got to make the track cooler, I'm at it. Yeah, no, man. Oh, my. <laughs> Can't count that high. All right. <laughs> We're good. Oh, let the viewers count then, I guess. There's a car rejoining in front. Can't this feel like maybe it's grippier? Over under set of ten. Okay, Good luck, we'll guys. Run by. Run by. Anyway. <sighs> That's the end of the session. Twenty-eight. I need to get my thoughts together because we're about to start racing here. <sighs> Fifty seconds to grid. I actually want to put my brake bias down just a touch. No, I, I can't loop it. I was going to put it down a touch, maybe protect the right front a little bit, but it gets pretty unsettled on brakes. Good luck, guys. So. All right. Good luck. Left session. Last lap. Everything's looking okay. Crew chief ready to give me some data because there will be pit stops here at Marble Beach. 175 lap race. So it's a long one. And uh, we've got three sets of tires. Another good, uh, cool thing that Race Labs will provide for me it'll tell me when people last pit so I can know what strategy they're on. Pit road is closed right now. Oh my goodness. This is probably the most nervous I've been yet. In any of the league races. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just because the Arca car is a little bit more difficult on the short tracks and I know that disaster can happen. One to go, next time by. I think we're just gonna roll off second gear. I don't want to do anything crazy like spin the tires. I don't know. Definitely gonna wait until we get around this corner. Even though Myrtle Beach has a really early. Uh... Yeah, Breaking zones. Try to be smooth. It's going to be key. Turning with the brakes. Not with uh, anything else. Oh, I guess I'm leaving already? What happened? Oh, pff, duh. They probably just didn't make the show. I was like, I thought they were in the race and they, like. I don't know, got a black flag on the start or something. You're in the lead. So, in my testing, I found the tire wear wasn't too bad. It was actually pretty even from whenever I did my runs.
Oh no, James lagged out. That sucks. It's always good racing with him. He's a frequent Arca racer. I know he would have been good today. That sucks. Sorry to see that. Oh, shit. Well, wish it came out a little earlier, Gavin, but... Oh, yeah, it's worked good. Now I'm on the inside. <laughs> Don't wear my tires up. I'm on the inside, too. They're in caution, but I want to catch up to the pace car, obviously. Pit road is now open. Oh, heart's still beating, but uh, got some laps in, so I'm feeling a little bit better now. Oh, there's uh, more people leaving. Don't know if it was caution related. Wow, how much fuel we got? There's no way that's accurate. Yeah, I was like, what the heck are you talking about? I racing 182 laps of fuel. There's no way. <laughs> Did you just overdrive, or you tried to bump and run? Uh-oh. I hope it's uh, an accident, because bumping and running on uh, lap six or whatever is probably not an ideal way to do it. We already got Mitch up here. Yeah, bumping around an after car kind of don't mix. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Let me see. Can't decide. Guy says he overdrove. I think maybe first gear. I might, I might have to do it. Testing it out. So. Might be first gear then. Do a quick shift. Because we're just so low RPM in second gear. You can see the odometer turning red down there. So according to uh, my new race labs here. 2.4. This is the strength of field. I don't know how accurate that is, though, because I don't know if that's counting the people in the heat race or if, uh, if that's everybody in the feature here. I'm not sure. Brand new to race labs. But uh, very good information. And like I said, not worried about anybody in this race. Everybody's pretty much A-class up here that I'm seeing, and even those who are not, I know. They're smart racers. They're Nick viewers, <laughs> and they know the... Uh, how beneficial it can be to be patient. So, Mitch obviously is going to be the one to beat. I imagine he'll get around me at some point. He'll probably have better long run speed, probably have better consistency. Hey, uh, Ryan, it's a uh, double file restart. Double file restart, just like you said. So it's different from uh, the single file starts. One left to green. You'll be up on oh, James is back in. Hopefully he'll be able to get back on the lead lap eventually. Don't want cautions, but hate it for him blinking out. So I just I hope he's able to get back on the lead lap. About to go green. Stay focused. Post car is off. I think I'm going to do uh, first gear, like I said. I don't think that was the play. Green flag, green flag. The next car's the leader. P2. Outside. Still there, hold your eyes. But I want to try it early. In case it is the better play, so that way I'm not restarting late later in the race. Keep low. Suboptimally, I cannot talk right now. I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm so focused. This is not easy for me. Short tracks are not easy on. I'm just running my line. I'm obviously not forcing my way under. Neath. So he'll get around. Green 
Oh, oh, gosh, no man. man, we have to be a PT too. Right now. Good race on the run. All right. The pit road's open. Yeah, I'm not really in a rush to do anything. Me either. Oh my oh god, the outside sucks. <laughs> he says that, but Mitch passed me on the outside. I think that means I double suck. It all, but Mitch made a pass for the lead around the outside. That might say a lot more about the guy that was on the inside. <laughs> yeah, I thought uh, you and Mitch made contact. So I backed off a little bit, but I wasn't sure. Oh shoot, I hope we didn't. I didn't notice if we did. I thought I heard like a little door slam, but I don't know. It could be me. Love the paint team gather. Thanks, this is the inverse of the colors I ran last season. On the outside. Lucky dog coming on. Oh, wait. So now I'm going to have to start P2. It fits. I like it. With my single monitor. Yeah, I like it. I think it looks pretty good. Thank you. Should have a 98 passing for the lucky dog. Did they already pass and I didn't notice? They probably did. The door will be a little bit gray by the end of the race. Oh, there it goes. Left us, not yet. Right. Carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. So, a little bit tricky to start, but we do have 34 people on a short track and a tough one at that. So... I'll be lucky if it's not second to refs with all this... The pyramid head is like an honorary flag man with the amount of fog. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect uh, this fog. Alright. Well, so far, so good. I'm not gonna... Off the tracks where I live, there's a chance that this could happen on any given night. I'm not gonna drive over my head. And crash or anything. Yeah, sure. So, you now if, if people are gonna be passing me, just gonna make it simple. Not gonna fight too hard. We got a long race. The rain that ends up kind of like And uh, it's a long season too. Last uh, season we had what was it like four or five races? This is much longer of a season. Don't remember exactly how many, but it's like a, like a dozen or something. So. Consistent finishes, very important in a lead setting. So. <sighs> I hope I didn't net code Mitch or something. He was saying, like, out of your contact. I hope I'm holding my line all right. I'm so nervous, I feel like I'm going to pass out. So. The pace car is off. Be ready. Pace car's coming in. Be ready. Green flag, green flag. Pit road's open. Grunowski is leading the race. Inside. Clear. Power off. Be able to file into second. I'm sure Gavin could have probably held me off there, but it's probably being kind early on. Use my brain here. Remember, it's the long run. You match in race pace, this is good. Your lap time was 19.5. Mitch is turning in much later. That's very interesting. Should be watching him pretty closely. I could probably learned something. All right. Time was Would love to places. not restart P2, but <laughs> maybe that's why Gavin was extra nice to me. Maybe he's thinking we might get another quick caution and uh, doesn't want to start P2 on the outside.
Easy now. It's loose. And another yellow flag. Thank you for that. Uh oh, I don't hope Daniel didn't get caught up in something. I had a thank you, and I don't know if it was a true <laughs> sense of gratitude there. I'm trying to get it up. Uh oh, JP, no, another guy I've raced a lot. And then Rob, also. And it stinks anytime you see Rex in here, because you know they're all full people. <laughs> you don't want to see anyone wrecked. Passing by, and you're like, oh man, not JP or something, you know. Thirteen gallons. Where the hell was I? It's having me go around so many people. Got lucky dog yeah, coming sometime? Did it already say that? I don't know if it did. Maybe not, maybe we don't have anyone laps down anymore. Is James back on the uh, lead lap? Different James. No, he's way down. That sucks. I was hoping he got back in real quick and like maybe uh, caution made it so it wasn't too many laps down, but I don't even know if he's still here. 26 laps down, that's the start of the race pretty much. Alright, we're going to be on the outside again. We get a nice start. Don't get it all sideways on entry. Having to take that second lane, it can get pretty slidey. Uh, I don't know what I just saw. <laughs> was that real or was that some weird netcode thing? That looked really strange. He has left. I don't know what just happened. Anyway, starting P2. It really is like Silent Hill out here, like haunted One things are happening. You're on the outside this race is haunted. Get ready. Race <laughs> at the end of this lap. Mitch getting real close to the pace truck. Kind of preventing me from doing the thing I like to do where I kind of like get real close and uh, look in my mirror in order to see him. There for Gavin. Still there, hold your line. Still there. Stay high. Twenty point zero. Still inside. Necessarily wanting to fight here. Still inside. The lap time was at 19.8. Too hot. Clear. Car inside. Clear. Inside. Oh, he really stuffs it in there. Still there. Number four does. Stay high with the car on the low side. Clear. Okay, we get filed in though. Three. Okay. See if Gavin can keep up with Mitch. I don't know if I could. P3. Right. Starting on the inside this time. Still not time for tires. This race is way too long to be taking too many t sets of tires. Really like this track position anyway. Twelve point four gallons. I don't even know if with cautions we're gonna get a 
kind of fuel saving to not have to come in plus tires at, after 175 it's got to be pretty significant so I hope I'm racing all right I feel like genuinely lightheaded this fog is actually like noxious gas out here or something no nah. like I'm just I'm fearful short tracks are so scary to me lucky dog outside Almost lost a lap doing a drive through on the one to go. So the outside's not necessarily a death sentence. Um, it seems like you can kind of fight out there a little bit. I kind of took that one corner, turn one wider, kind of hoping I could find a way to file back in. Like, get Gavin past me and then have the run enough to be able to make sure I was in front of the person behind, being lowercase Ryan yeah, back Nick there. Nick not shorting up the caution lap, I guess. Yeah, Nick hasn't shortened up the caution lap. I'm surprised yeah. he hasn't made this single file, or has yet to be seen. I think he knows that probably it's just going to happen. I think he can shorten it if people are pitting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, that's true. Right now. You, get, you got tires you can use now. Also, I think too long anyway. I guess this paint's scrambling. Ooh, I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound pleasant. So I think Gavin was probably pretty kind to us, letting uh, file in. So if he's pretty close, I'll probably just back off and let him in. Not because he gets special treatment, because he's Gavin, but because it's lap 38 on out of 175, and uh, there's no real reason to push too hard. One lap to green. Okay, Colton. You'll be lining up when you reach the end of this lap. Like the one is number 22. Oh, people might have like husky numbers on or something. Maybe that's what he's talking about. I'm still taking second gear. I think Mitch might be doing first gear, but when I tried that, it did not fit too good. Yeah, trading paint to do that sometimes to scramble everything. Pace cars coming in, get ready. Green flag. Green gets down low. Still there. Still there. Being super apprehensive on these restarts, but I feel like that's still there. Dude, I'm just driving scared. Still there. Hold your line. Just trying not to burn up the tires or anything. Heat them up. Just trying to be smooth, you know. Might put the brakes back a little bit. It doesn't seem like I'm having the looseness into or mid corner anymore. Might be a cold tires thing. That was a 19.7. And by after I got loose. Still there, hold your line. I'm going to put the brake bikes back. I got loose when I was on throttle, not on brakes. We're just going to go full three back. So I started at 64, it'll put it at about 61. Right, can you guys hear me? Eh, maybe not. Maybe that much. We'll, we'll go back to 200. Yeah, I got you right. Just double check, and I'm going to be the lucky dog. I'll come high. We'll be on the outside again. Honestly, the outside seems pretty darn good. Unless I'm just really that bad on the inside. Lucky dog coming high.
Sit down a fourth. That's a okay with me. All season, I'm just me running for top tens. I think that is. That should be sufficient enough. Try not to DNF or anything at any point. Just try to be solid, get some top tens. I think that'll be good enough for a good points finish because that's uh, that's the main goal of, at the end of the season, right? Get a good points finish. That's what's fun about the league. So you've got uh, whole point standings to chase after and. Good racing, our cold. Not fun. Yeah, I feel a little bit like a fish out of water up here. I don't know how I qualified first, but uh, I'm just trying to not make a mess. Close, pit road is closed. I don't know how it scored you ahead of me, because I, I thought I, I swear I thought I was ahead of you when the caution came out. Certainly was close. I knew I was not going to cut in front of you after I got a little loose on exit there. I was going to let you have it, but then the caution came out. Yeah, I was having a handful there with Wesley. Me and him were racing pretty hard there, and I finally got around him. <laughs> oh, okay. So. Hey, whoever was asking how much of the time limit was left, if you go to your F1 back, it will tell you how much time is remaining. Oh, yeah, the time limit. That is a thing as well. Remaining one hour, fifteen minutes. I mean, this might come down to time limit if we get a lot of these cautions. But get ready, going green. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Okay, Colton, be ready. We're going green. Gavin in the wall. I think Gavin might have barely brushed the wall there. I kind of had to go get on the brakes a little bit. Thankfully, there's no one right behind me. This is getting a bit messy, though, with the cautions. Thank you for not coming up any higher, Scott. I don't know if Gavin really did get in the wall there. It seemed like he slowed down a little bit, maybe brushing the wall. And I had to kind of get on the brakes a little bit. All right, back behind you again, Colton. Uh. Uh. Oh, here's anyone? Nah, we haven't run any. Can we stop wrecking? Oh, God. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, this place would be able to run the whole race on one set. On yeah. Ten, Probably. Eight, eight don't know what's uh... Ten point still not even gallons. close on fuel, I don't think. So. Yeah, I can't wait to hear him, well, <laughs> raging about caution on top of caution. Let the 44. Carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. Can you see how much damage I have on my front end? Can you see that? Okay. I mean, we got people getting damaged, though. I mean, there's obviously no fast repairs out here. We got people leaving, like, presumably, you know, less cars out here, the less chance for the caution. So maybe it'll sort itself out soon enough. Ha! There it is. Restarts have been changed to single file. You figured that might have been coming. Pit road is closed. So... If, uh, Where did Nick go? Did he get into a wreck? Because he started way up here. 
He might have actually gotten himself into trouble. Or, you know, not gotten himself, but maybe gotten into trouble some way or another. Get ready. Race the regime at the end of this lap. I think it's second gear. I just, I... Single file restart, guys. Single file restart. And now we have to make sure we can see the, the leader here. Maybe we can get a long run over. Can't see the leader. Twenty four, I'm gonna give you the inside. All right. Brake vice back. Got to remember that. Yellow flag. They want you in single file. Yeah. Pit road is closed right now. Sorry, right, that one is on me. My car was broken from the last turn. I didn't realize it. Well, single file restarts. Pit road is now open. Did not help. That's unfortunate. A little disappointing so far I'll get the cautions. I haven't had a it's almost gotten worse since the start. Because now shortened caution. Closed, pit road is closed. <laughs> Understandably getting impatient. I'm surprised he wasn't doing it already to be honest. Car 30. Got the lucky dog. Let them past on the outside. It's a lucky dog. Lucky dog coming outside. Be zooming around. I assume. Get someone not paying attention to the lucky dog I'll back there. How much there. you want to bet if we have another caution within two laps, you'll see somebody disappear from the server? I don't think Nick knows who. I wouldn't be surprised. Who would it be? One to go. Not seen the 30 yet. There he goes. This race is haunted, I'm telling you. Alright, Colton, be ready. We're going green. Green flag, green flag. It's ugly. Under control, though. <laughs> Try to get in a rhythm. It's been hard to get into that rhythm so far, but we're looking okay. We got someone going to the inside. Here for the lead. Lowercase Ryan. And another caution. We think pit road is open. Let's bend it. That truck scared the crap out of me. <laughs> yeah, it does that, huh? That killed everything for you there, Ryan, because you were going for the lead. Yeah, I was interested in seeing how that developed. Ryan going for the lead there. What do we have here? 25 on the inside. I'm not sure. Pit 
Pit road is closed. Left us, 46. Car bike. Okay. Well, we are... 9.8 gallons. Pretty far along in this thing already. 64 laps. Not too many of them have been green so far. To be honest. At what point do we start saving fuel? Like... 9.7 gallons. 0.7 gallons is a lot, but if we keep getting cautions, that number's gonna keep dropping. Although, I guess... One left to green. You know, we get any longer on that, it's gonna in this lap. recalibrate to be more accurate to burn away that fuel. I don't know, I'll keep an eye on it. I still don't think it's realistic that we actually, uh... Make it Get ready. all Get the way on green. fuel. Post car is off. Heads up, prepare for green flag. No, that's the key. I couldn't see. Green, green, green flag, green, green flag. Car inside. Still there, inside. Clear inside. Kind of stinking it up on these restarts. That lap was at 19.8. Inside. Spit the dive bomb. Inside. Kind of felt that way. Car on the low side. Clear inside. Inside. Well, that was a 19 point Still there. Still there. Inside. Still there. Hold your line. Oh man, that sucks, Brian. Car stopped up high. Uh oh. I stopped, stopped up high. Go high. The out. yellow flag is out. We're not have a caution. Single file. Closed. Pit road is closed. Left up. 84. Carbine. Pit road's open. That was a little bit of a late caution throw on there. The leader, Drunowski, is pitting. Drunowski is pitting? 9.8 gallons. Everyone else is too. Last on yourself spin. That's not good. Seventeen. Got the lucky dog. Let them pass. Uh, lucky on dog. The uh, I think Logan qualified last, and he's in seventh right now. So apparently he's uh, marching forward. Let the seventeen car by. Nine point six gallons. I, just, I feel like we have not used these tires yet. We're not even halfway. I mean, I guess we've used the tires a little bit at this point. Just used them for a couple lap bursts, but we have used them. We'll see if anyone says anything about their tires. Might get some information out of them. But I wouldn't blame them if they kept that close to the vest. Not the muted, do I? Some more people leaving. Still holding on tight to fourth. Oh, well, only because Mitch Pitt. <laughs> Obviously, Moody got around us.
About to go green. Stay focused. So we got a new uh, leader. We'll see how they handle it here. Be ready. Be ready. We're going green. Green flag, green flag. Got a good jump on the guys behind. Got some black flags cleared. Not sure what must have happened back there. Thank you. This is probably a really tough race for Nick to uh, officiate from inside the car. I kind of had an idea, like maybe he should have like one designated person, since he can't hear chat. Like, maybe someone he trusts, like Gavin or something. Just to relay what people are saying on voice chat in case you've got someone that got an unfair black flag or something weird happened. Just so they can relay the information to Nick, maybe on, like, a team channel of voice chat. And they're the only person that Nick can hear. And they'll only talk if they've got to relay that information. I wonder if that would be something they could consider, that he would consider just to uh, try to prevent any like black flags or any situations maybe with like a problem driver or something that Nick might not otherwise know about I know Nick doesn't want to have the voice chat on and for understandable reasons so maybe if he had just one person he could trust to relay what's going on in the race I don't know it's just an idea I had. Sorry, Gavin. Well, it's got into Moody there. I'm not going to take advantage. I don't think I'm faster than he is. That lap time was 20.0. These short tracks on the schedule. My main goal here, just finish decent. These short tracks are not my strong suit. When we go to the mile and a half and stuff, it's tracks where it doesn't really take talent. <laughs> Still there, There's Mitch again. Let him on by. Still there, hold your line. He's trying to let him by. Still inside. Clear. All right, file in. He's got fresh tires, I assume. Oh my god, if it goes green to the end now, I'm going to be feeling like such a fool. Turtle, don't do that. Turtle bad. Oh! Inside, clear oh, inside. sorry, man. Caution. Caution. Yellow flag. They want you in single file. Holy Absolutely smokes. Spun the tires coming off. Whoa, did not see that coming. I think I avoided damage. Good right, Lord Gavin. I think I slowed it down. Keep roads open. Yeah, good wow. Right. Not overdriving entry really bad. That was crazy. Wow, what a huge twist in this race. I wonder, we got Logan in front of us. Got some serious damage, it looks like. I can't pit yet. I'm, I'm afraid we're not caught up enough to the field. Yeah, sorry again, guys. That's my bad. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I guess I should have pit there, but... Someone killed pit road entrance. So we're going we're to get fuel, we're going to get tires. Yeah, just fun the tires coming out. I did not see that he coming. got loose and got into the wall and I couldn't react in time to the end of the back of him spawning. Oh, that sucked. The pit lane speed limit is 35 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again. Drive through the pit lane, or the pit boxes. Huh, I wonder how much damage Gavin got in that. He hit him pretty good. Five, three, two, one. 
right here. Oh, cool. Yeah, a millimeter forward. Thanks. <laughs> Ninety-one ninety. So tires are not all that bad, but definitely uh, time to take them. Okay, punch it. Could have maybe pit last lap, but I was afraid of going to lap down. Single file. So that would be very bad. We didn't have any damage. I can't believe I stopped in time. I had to slam on the brakes. And thankfully no one ran into the back of me either. That could have been so bad. Gavin's still out here, so apparently his damage wasn't too bad. I got... What are these? Black flags? That's a lot of people. Oh, those people left down, I guess? What a twist in this race. Hey, 46, are you broke? Because you look broke on my screen here. We're not even good to the uh, end of the race. Yeah, your right front looks like it cambered in. All the way to the side. What are my race labs? Yeah, not race like labs. Minute and a half to up optional. The pace car is in. And we're a bit way back here now. Single file restart. If you get too close and get a good run on me, I'll uh, let you go on up. We're going to Gonna be surprised if that thing turns. We're going green green. Oh, cold tires. Oh my gosh. I almost did not consider that enough. I feel like we're getting blocked low lane here. That was kind of weird. See fresh tires too, the 40? Oh wait, I know. I can find out now. Race Labs. Yes, he has fresh tires. So, okay. Good to know. See, that's useful information. I'm glad I got Race Labs. We're back here, where closer to where the the wrecks have apparently been happening. I don't know if this guy's trying to let me by or what. Did not want to dive it in on him, so making sure he wasn't going to turn down. Just being careful. I've learned my lesson with that dive bombing, <laughs> so I don't want to do that. Alright, so we got a self spin in front of us. This is a messy race. It'll be interesting to see the last one of the crash and this thing ends. Yeah, I think the fog made this race haunted. Yeah, I was trying to step with Gavin now and break too hard. So we are still pretty close to the top 10. Like I said, that was kind of my goal, just getting the top 10. I gotta remember that, even though I somehow qualified pole, all I'm trying here is to get the uh, top 10, keep the car clean, and it looks like uh, just making it to the end of this thing is gonna be useful. It's raining and it's past halfway. <laughs> I mean, it looks like it's raining. Like, look, it, look. it really looks like we're in a freaking hurricane. Oh, we got a pit taker. Zero point seven gallons. We should make it to the end on fuel, I think. I hope my uh, calculator is calibrated. I doubt we're going to go green to the end anyway, with how messy this has been. We are in 12th, still single file. Restarts. He might make the rest of the season single file with how this race has gone. I'm not sure if he's going to be all too willing to put it back to uh, double file after what we've seen in the first 96 laps here. So, maybe he'll do it on the bigger tracks. But... Maybe the short tracks 
he'll uh, keep it single file. Road is closed. Oh, moving a little bit farther forward. After a couple, after a self, self spin there, and then someone taking a pit stop. Zero point four gallons. Should be good on fuel, I think. Like I said. I don't know if we're coming back in to pit at any point here, unless I find myself near the back without uh, track position, and I have a set of tires near the end or something. Maybe maybe I'll take them, but track position is going to be very important. About to go green. Stay focused. About to go green. We're exiting turn two. Post car is off. Time to do your job. So they're uh, less small in our windshield. A weird accordion effect right there. Green, green, flag, green flag. Maybe we can follow Gavin through. He's a good short track racer, so he might be able to open some doors for us. Does that Mitch is a lap car low down or is he broken? And no. Car outside. Outside is clear. Car outside. Keep low. 19.7. Outside is clear. Okay, got clear and caution. Oh, it breaks. Someone got removed from the server. Ryan, I tried telling this car was broke. Car's broke. Oh, hitting that guy? Uh, yeah, his right front was almost laid over on its side. I don't know what he was doing out on the track. I, I haven't had trouble with it. I don't know. Maybe I just haven't felt like a random spin yet or anything. Maybe some maybe that's something that guys are running into, like some weird thing with the setup where it just sends you around without warning or something. Right, that I haven't felt yet. I don't know. I think Mitch has decided that his damage is too severe. Probably needs to get some more fixed. So it looked like he was pretty off pace. We're still moving forward though. Gavin's gonna be our shepherd right, here. Halfway home. We've got plenty as we travel through the field. Hopefully I can keep up behind him. We've got uh, a lot of guys older tires. Like Adam up there, lap 46 is where I'm seeing that on race labs. A lot of those were under caution, but still fresher tires for Gavin and I. Ten lap advantage over Devin who's in ninth place so not a huge tire advantage but might be just enough to help us get around and what I lack in short track racecraft maybe Gavin has so he can open the doors and I'll just walk through scavenge the spots <laughs> oh wait Phoenix Wait, Phoenix. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. I like Phoenix. Phoenix is good stuff. All right, a little closer to the front. Can't see it being that bad. And uh, we'll be able Not to see a little bit system. better be once better. more. For some reason I thought it was one degree in there. Next moment. week is what the uh, Arca official series. That's what it goes. That's what Nick's going off the schedule with. We got Moody up front. One to go. Such Take a great track for these cars as well. A lot of familiar names. Tracy, the only other person yeah, to win. Yeah, that's a good track period. I've never raced these cars around there, though. But in the K5 track, Championship, though. fourth place. Is it the legendary or the good one? The old one, the good one. 
About to go green, stay focused. Post car is off. Okay, Colton, be ready. We're going green. Bit of a check up there. Green, flag. green, green, green. Black flags cleared for Logan, it looks like. I wonder what happened to him. Track must be pretty cool with all this fog and darkness. I expect the track to be tight. It kind of does feel that way. Oh man, I need to, I'm not even close enough to take advantage of this if Gavin gets around. Dang. Yeah, I'm, I was hoping I would. The car in front of us is now. Yes, Jack. Yeah. Is he just letting us by? The time was 19.5. I don't know if he was. It sure looked like it. He uh, left a lot, a lot of... Still there, hold your line. Very kind of him to do that. I'm not sure if I deserve it, though. Still there. <laughs> not very good. You're in the top ten. In the top ten, that's what I love to hear. Still there. Clear high. That's not what I like to see. Me getting sideways, but... <laughs> I survived it. Theoretically, I should be able to get on the gas harder if the track's cooler, but still feeling pretty loose on exit. Once we get a few laps in, then I kind of start feeling like I hit my rhythm a little bit better. Been in a door. Oh, someone getting real loose. I can't even look to see who it is. Joshua says. <laughs> I have a closed door in front of us, or will I be able to walk through? Dive's not there, not gonna dive it in. You've just done it, 19.7. Being a good boy. <laughs> not gonna wreck anybody. We will set something up here then. Hopefully, hopefully I have the ability to do that. Don't think I'm gonna get a run there. Oh, he's getting kind of wide on entry, really. The brakes. I gotta set something up. I gotta be. I gotta have good racecraft here. Enter a little higher and cut down, maybe. Not quite. Your lap time was 20.2. Car in dodge, clear inside. I got way too close to him there. He's uh maybe let me by. Car outside. Sorry to scare him there. I maybe he's not let me by. I stink, man. I think I just stink. <laughs> we got Lorcas Ryan behind us, who's definitely faster. That was, he was not there. Still there at the bottom. Okay, what's gonna happen to me again this race? Yes. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe that is not even a clear inside. aggressive move. I don't know. Whatever. Clearly I can't make a pass. So, what do I know? Clear. These guys are driving in harder than I am. Hey, this is a nice green run, though. So far, so good. Your lap time was 19.9. A check up on X here. Oh, right when I was about to get around him. 
closed right now. I really think I was going to be able to follow Ryan through there, but now what do we have? Pete Road now open. Is it people behind us again? I don't know. Right now, I'm sitting behind my nose underneath there. Whew. Intense, though. I'm sweating, even though it's a well, foggy day out here. Cold, foggy day. Now, 79, but, uh, Brandon. Looks like we should still be able to finish the race. We've still got 42 and a half minutes. That should be enough to finish this thing, I imagine. Apparently, the uh, 23 is still scored in front of Ryan. I thought Ryan maybe had him. So, <laughs> at least maybe he'll be able to open that door for us again. Trying to get one of us to pit. No way I'm giving up this track position no, though right now. Size don't matter that much. I mean that whole more than half of the race that we did, 91-90. It's gonna be more important about temperature, I think, of the tires. And uh actually being skilled behind the wheel, which is what I'm working on right now. I'm trying to improve that a little bit. Oh. While still up front, Nick must have gotten damage at some point. Back there. Maybe getting damage fixed in the pits? Not sure. Obviously going to watch his race, Gavin's race. Probably more races, more perspectives of this race when it comes time. Always very fun to do. Just trying not to show up on anybody's incident reel and hopefully show up in the top 10 at the conclusion of this thing. Ryan's got fresher tires by eight laps, looks like. We couldn't get past the 23 who has 40 lap older tires. Oh, I, I stink. I was trying to set up a pass, but he was just getting more run on the. Regime at the end of this Move a run on the exit because I couldn't get it done. I don't know how to do it. I'm trying to watch other guys. About to go green, stay focused. Post car is off. Okay, we're bunching up here at the last That's second. The green flag. Green flag, green flag. Don't loop it on the restart, you doofus. And Gavin got all kinds of unsettled there. I'm getting tight. Very tight. Yikes. That was weird. This car is getting so tight. Is that just me? Am I overdriving? I'm not going to be close enough to get around up here. I'm going to move the brake bias back. Next chance I get. Only got 1% to spare. But I want that 1%. Come on. There. I'll drive it because I'm trying to do my brake bias. Gee whiz, man. Ryan makes the pass. Trying to adjust my driving to account for. It feels like a tighter racetrack. I am struggling. See other guys going up the track, maybe having the same issue. Looks like Gavin almost got turned there. If I'm looking at the right cars, I can only do little glances ahead. Try and just wrap this bottom line. I think I need to keep the wheel straighter on exit. Probably help me get a stronger exit. Get less loose. I do. I swear I get better though. Once we get some laps in, I feel like I pick up pace. But then we get a caution, and I just stink on the restarts. I swear.
23 in front of us. Can I ever get around him? It's the 40 lap older tires. Oh no. No rats. See, that's exactly what I'm saying. Holy cow, Wallace, you're blinking bad. Oh, Wallace is blinking again. Ah, oh, really? That stinks. They cleared up now, but it's like on the front stretch, you were in the grandstands and the pits all everywhere. Oh, hey, Nick's behind us on 40 lap weird. better tires. They might latency says I'm in green, but I don't know. I'm not really looking at that. I'm just looking in front of me if I don't play mistake. I think your right front tire's a little bit low if you want to pit and take a look at it. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh -huh. <laughs> we got takers. No way I'm going in. No way, no way. I think I'm staying out the rest of the race, to be honest with you. <laughs> By the way, this is, I'm still on the set I started on. I haven't even hit it. I know, that's why I said that. <laughs> You're having a good run, run though. I'm trying. Billy's giving me a run for my money, though. Thirty-six minutes on, still on time limit. Run from that Langley race, I got wrecked in on the last two laps. Nick should be flying by me. He's one of the best in the whole league at passing. It seems like I don't. I think he says that. It's because people give him extra room. I think he's just really good at setting up passes on short tracks just from watching him. He's got a really good understanding of short track racing. Pit road is closed right now. Like if you were to look at his start, average start and average finish last season in the late models, he finished third overall I think it was, but like average start of like 14th or something. Like he knows how to get passes done. So maybe it's aided a little bit by the fact he is the league, <laughs> but I think he just knows what he's doing too, so that all to say, I think he's going to find his way past me pretty quickly. kind of like to be bunched up a little bit better. It feels like every restart we're like catching up the last second and doing like the accordion thing. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. Okay, Colton, be ready. We're going green. Green flag, green flag. Green flag. You're in the top ten. Eighth place. The yellow flag is out. They want you in single file. I really like the race, guys. Nick, you want to put it double file, or is it too much? No, we don't need double file. I wasn't asking you. Ooh. Vroom! <laughs> That was kind of rude, to be honest, but. I think Nick turns his chat off. I don't know. Yeah, he can't hear you. Oh, nine, you gotta go by, man. So. Lucky dog, huh? Lucky dog, huh? P8. Had no time for Nick to catch up there. We got, he got like a bad spot on the restart there. Letter 17, carbine. <sighs> I hope we at least get a good run to the end Close. here Close. at some point. Stink for the whole thing to be posh and fast. 
Had a 40, is it going to push you to the rear or are you going to stay up here? Uh, we'll see when we get the one to go. If I stay up there, I'll let you all have the, you want the inside or outside? Probably. I'll just let you guys go as soon as we get the group right. It should let you go by, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it should be a wave around. One to go. Wave around up there. Race regime at the end of this lap. Zoom. Is it letting him go? Nothing. Uh-oh. What does this mean? I want you to take the black flag when we're ready. Going green. Post car is off. Time to do your job. That's a classy move, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> Let him know that that's cool of him to do. Trying to get this pass done right. I just don't know how. That's good consistency, keep it up. That last light was at 19.8. Come on, get run. It's there. Outside, the yellow out. flag is out. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed right now. Really love to race here. What are these cautions coming out for? It's people in the back or something? Jack, pit road is open. <sighs> Hold on, Billy. You're giving me a run for my money. So bad for that guy because the lap car kind of wrecked him. But oh. oh no! I hope the rest of the races this season are a little bit cleaner. Car, Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the, the lucky outside. Dog come So what do we have? We have 29 laps to go. E8. How many people do we even have out here still? About half the people we started with are on track still. To the end now, please. At least this track has lights. It's gonna be a long video. Okay, Colton, be ready. We're going green. It's happening up front. Green flag, green flag. Yeah, we're double file to start. It's kind of weird. Go, go, go! Come on! Go, 
car outside. I don't know if I was there, but man, I gotta go. Keep low. Still there. Go low. P7. The lap time was at 19.7. Still there. It's fighting hard on the outside. I'm trying so hard to get by. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. Using his pick. Oh, he's blocking a little bit. Okay, wow. Shoot. Not need that. Slow car ahead. Go high. Caution. Yellow flag. Single file. Made it past that. No, let the 23 by. Oh my gosh, I thought I had him. Dumped him. Boss got into somebody else. Dumped him on live TV, too. <laughs> on live TV. Can't even get the slightest bump without turning on yeah, not in this that car. Thing. You cannot do a bump and run these cars. Same reason you can't do bump drafting in uh, super speedways. 4K and all. 4K and all. Yeah, but I'll, I'll probably take my end of the line penalty next week. So who was that that got taken out? Billy, I think. Somehow Nick lost a spot. Oh, that's a. Uh... Ooh, that 30 yeah, gates on very road fresh road tires. Road 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 as soon as I gave a guy like the slightest bump, just from him checking out, but now I'm on his bumper and it turned on. Yeah, that was a slight check up there, but I, I don't know, I have to look at the replay, but it seemed like he checked up just a little bit, but I don't know. I, I, it happened with me and Brandon at Langley where he checked up in the middle of the corner and no time to react. We had some great racing so far. Uh, despite all the cautions, there has some, been some really good side-by-side -side around me and stuff. I've Enjoyed my race, racing I have had. I didn't want to dive it on that 23. It looked like he left the lane open, that's why I went for it. I didn't get a call, but I don't know, I hope that was okay. <laughs> Gotta jump it very early. Something. <laughs> I cannot get past. That's going to get me past. You serious, man? Okay, that was definitely a dive bomb. I could have done that to the 23 like 20 laps ago, for the record. Keep on. Pinching me really hard. Seventh position. Clear inside. 
car outside. Clear. What do we got going on in front of us? I can't even see what's happening right there. Don't know where anybody is. Car outside. Still there. Keep low. Car stop down low. No, 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 no caution. I'm getting by a guy. Go low. Clear high. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm getting dizzy. Still inside. Stay high. Clear. Outside. Slow car ahead. Still there, hold your line. Caution. Go high. Caution. Yellow flag. Line up. <sighs> single file. Closed. Pit road is closed. Gee whiz, man. Ah, it looks Pit like the moving has gone off. <laughs> That's another spot. I literally need to breathe. <laughs> Like, I'm not breathing. I actually, that affected me, that last little run. I actually got lightheaded there. <sighs> Live TV and 4K and all. I did it. I'm, I'm sorry, I need like a drink. I'm, I'm, luckily, I have a drink here. I can't save my life. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I was parking it in the middle just to like keep off the bumper. It didn't do anything. Like I'm just not remembering to breathe. It's making me lightheaded. So deep breaths. Like said, I, I at least during caution. Like I just tap you and just went around. Dry my hands off. Right now. <laughs> these stupid cars, man. You can't hit nobody in the rear. If this was like the 87s or the the next gens, it would have been not been like that. All right, we are slowly moving forward as they continue to dump each other in front of us. <laughs> Still, the 23 in front of me, he has done a fantastic job of defending his position. He's doing everything he needs to do. Uh, I just, I cannot get past him. It seems like other guys are out in trouble. I mean, the 38 got a good one, looks like. Holy smokes. We're coming down to the end of this thing, it'll be six to go when we go green. Get ready, going green. It's gonna go super early again. Pipe car is off. Okay, Colton, be ready. We're going green. Feels like anytime I have a good corner, he has a good corner, and then maybe he'll have a bad corner, but I didn't have a very good corner. Good, good. Oh, hard into the wall. Up there. Yeah, side by side maybe up there. Can't quite see what's going on. V6, that was at 19.8. Just don't self spin. The car inside. That was ugly. Still there. 
clear inside. Not gonna fight him after I got loose. Because he's Nick, but because I got loose and I need to take responsibility for it. Thanks for not running this is Daniel, sorry. Yeah, no problem. That noise fire experiment. I needed to let my tires cool down a little bit after getting sideways. Right front was sliding, I almost didn't get her stopped. Oh. Good win, Wesley. Okay. Seventh place. Oh my gosh. I will take that, man. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Thanks. Right rear is gone. Yeah, you know, not to give them that all the leaders of that flag. I dropped down into the pit, and that just started. started my I'm going to say, where was he? Uh, lots of cautions, but otherwise great racing with the guy. It's okay, Nick. It's not your fault. I still had a great time. Good wing, guys. Oh. All right. What do we have on tires? Uh, it's going to be everyone's, like, pit at different times. Yeah, just wanted to congratulate him because that was, like, super well done. And uh, Nick gets us at the end because I got loose. Yeah, I'll uh, talk to you later, Nick, and thanks for putting this on, and uh, come back next week. Wesley, grab on the wind. Good job, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Honestly, there was a lot of good racing, especially up front. Most of the wrecks were on um, uh, for spots that don't matter. Yeah, the green laughs were awesome, but and we could have had more of them, but it was uh, it's tough out here. So <laughs> that that was so crazy that I was able to slow it down in time uh, for Mitch. Slammed on the brakes and just got slowed up in time. We'll see what Nick says about me. Uh, Kind of letting him go there near the end. I had to do that though. My tires were going to be hot after sliding and I was going to wreck both of us probably if I went for it. So, alright. Cooling down a little bit. Wipe the sweat off my brow. <laughs> we got ourselves a P7. Very happy with that. Keeping it in the top 10. So we will go ahead Oh god, we're going to be here all night. I can't just do incidents normally, can I? There are way too many cautions. Well, we'll go through them real fast. And uh, try to go real quick past just the wall hits and stuff and really try to find the cautions. Um, so lap 5. Yeah, we had them cautions really early on. Looks like the 18 just runs over the 15, although the 15 kind of... Oh, that was bad in that code, I think. It didn't even look like they were that close. Was that just me? Eh, it was pretty close, but that was actually kind of strange. That looked weird. Just uh, really raised the rear end up and just sent him in an absolute spin cycle. <clears throat> so lap 13, that's just a wall hit. That's a self-spin. Whoa, oh, almost everybody avoided, but not quite. Uh, I don't know what we're looking at there. It's going to go. 
Ooh, the 15 in the wall gets stuck to it, as the Arca car likes to do. Oh, and then we have checking up for a wreck ahead. What do we have? We have, it looks like Daniel getting run over. And then that sends up up into the 38. That was a huge chain reaction, because not only did that happen, but seeing uh, all this happening ahead, we had, who's that? The 49. That's just, you know, some guys checking out more than other guys. And, oh my gosh, we've got a huge, oh, it's a parking lot. Oh my goodness, we got people coming in. That's a pretty big one. Already on lap 25. Huge field, so that's going to happen. Is this what, what happened to JP? Blue's engine. Wow. What happened, though? Did he have front-end damage? It doesn't even look like he had front-end damage. It looks like... It looks like he just, like, accidentally shifted down or something. I don't know. That was strange. That was really strange. That really stinks, though, because JP's a great racer. He could have been up there in the top ten at the end fighting with us, I imagine. So you'd hate to see that. Uh, making our way through... You know, these, these are, this isn't going too slow. We're already lap 40. Seems like any of these things that are happening, everyone's so close to each other, any mistake like getting into the walls... Oof, gonna show up. Then, uh... I think that might be the second time the 54 has caused a wreck. I think he had one self-spin, maybe, and then now he's in the back of Logan. Another guy who probably could have been up there at the end. If he uh, had the same speed as he had in late models. And then, not sure we had someone coming in a little late there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm trying to get to him. Oh, this is the guy that uh, fought us off hard at the end. Uh, he's just kind of on the outside, and he, you could tell he tried to slow down best he could. It's tough, because if you have, like, the brake bias back at all, you can't just slam on the brakes either. It'll send you around um, mid-speed corner. Since Brandon in the back of the 07, you really just cannot touch anybody at all either. As soon as you, you tap somebody, they're going around. And, uh, we have some trouble getting going there. Oh no! Whoa, yikes. I did that during the practice. <laughs> the warm-up before this race. I did something very similar to that. I got a little loose and then overcorrected. It looked very similar to that. So I guess I'm glad I got my instance of that out in the practice before qualifying. Fortunately, Shane got it done right there. So 17 getting loose on exit. Can he hold it together? No, it eventually sends him around. So there was another caution right there. Moving right along. Just some things going on. <laughs> we got some very similar schemes. And uh, the 23 getting in the back of the guy ahead. And just two different speeds heading through the corner. So less good right there. Oh no. And then a couple guys get into it. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, when Mitch got into the wall and seeing what it looked like on the outside for me because <laughs> that probably looked pretty crazy. Is this it? This must be. I was shocked when this happened, for obvious reasons. He, he just got loose and then ended up in the wall. Gavin couldn't avoid him. I, like, understandably so. Gets in the wall right in front of him. And I put it in the wall to not run in the back of him. This was zero seconds of damage. <laughs> that is crazy. I can't believe I didn't get any damage at all from that. I don't think I slow down in time if I don't uh, grind up against the wall either. And I guess we're just going slow enough speed that being in the wall isn't too big of a deal. We got it scraped up over there, but, you know, it's just cosmetic. Car felt pretty much the same the rest of the race. Very, very lucky. Very for <laughs> fortunate to make it through that one. 
lost a bunch of position there since we had to slow down so much but that is a small price to pay oh there's a big price to pay dodging to the left got him a little unsettled and then there was a pit entry right there that's some serious damage and this was in front of us as well I believe I think we're about to pass by yes just a self-spin entered a little hard maybe it looks like I see him turning and I remember correctly, yeah, he got a little close behind us, but he was able to react in time, not getting to the back of us. That was just a wall hit down the straightaway. Two very similar looking cars there, that's interesting. And then he just pulls it off real hard. See, this car sticks like glue to the wall, and so that'll tempt you to really yank the wheel to the left, but if you do that, this is what happens. Because once you get it all the way off, your wheel's pulling all the way over there. Unfortunately, I think the 46 got uh, kicked later. I don't know if it was because of this or if there was another incident after this. But Mitch, Mitch's day. Coming to an unfortunate end. What, was, what happened here? 17 coming in. Kind of a weird line by the 85 there. It looked like he was going to take the middle line. Because I think usually at this point, you're like down on the bottom line. I think the 17 just figured he was going to be following the car ahead. And then he does a cut down right there. That's kind of tough to call on anyone because it's not like the, he's it's not like he's diving in right here for like doing a dive bomb on entry. They're already like in the corner. And the 85 is kind of like going slower and in the middle lane. So I, I figured the 17 is like, okay, well, if he's not going to take the bottom line, I will. And then he's there. And then the 85 decides he kind of like wants to do a cut down line. So I, I don't know. It's hard to even blame that on anyone. Just uh, they both went for the same spot. I don't know. Could be the wrong way to look at it. I don't know. But we're continuing right along. Lap 119, we have, man, still just some uh, looseness on entry. You just can't drive in too hard. That's what happens if you do. If you drive in too hard or too far up the track, the car will just go around on you. It was like that with the official setup too, and it looks like it's like that with uh, the hickory setup that I'm using as well. Wallace blinking very, very badly. More self-spins. That's tough, man. Making 130 laps and then self-spinning. But it can happen. It can happen to anyone. I got pretty close a couple times. James again. Having trouble. He's going to victory lane. Get a screenshot of that one. <laughs> Say you won. Oh, boy. So what do we have? We have the 49. Looks like he's making a clean pass. He's uh he's on the inside here. He's got the spot. He gets around and then the 85 kind of just runs him over. You kind of have to know as the 85 there that uh, a guy, you know, having to keep it low for you to give you room is going to be slower on exit. So I don't think he meant to do it, but that stinks. I hope that's not what Devin got kicked for. He might have got kicked for that, cutting down in front of people. <laughs> but I hope that's not what he got. I think he might have been. I think Nick might have thought he just self-spawned and came around. Hope not. But uh, either way... Wow. Yeah, he really just got dumped there, huh? By the way, I didn't even mention Wesley with the win. Gavin got third, Nick sixth. I should really <laughs> call itself out. And yeah, Walsh just runs him over. And then, uh. He really kind of just finishes him off, too. I mean, I guess he didn't really have much of a choice. I just straight up dumped him. Uh, 
That's a weird one. You blow an engine? What happened here? Just not really looking and gets into the wall. That's strange, to say the least. Mitch, you got a front front uh, row view of that. That's just Daniel blinking a little bit. 15 up in the wall. 15 struggling a little bit. Might have some damage on there making that tough. Oh no, not again. 40 with the self span. Tough race. It's real tough out here. Lost back there, getting in the wall. Did he just dump the same guy twice? <laughs> how did he, how did uh, Billy get back here? Or, okay, so, let, here's the timeline. Wallace dumps Billy. And then... What happened to Wallace again? I don't remember. Did he penalize himself? I don't, I straight up don't remember, I'm sorry. I don't remember if we saw this. Then Ryan, looks like he dumps Wallace. Really didn't look like he meant to, he just barely got into him. And then, after that happened, and Wallace gets in the wall there, he dumps the same guy again. <laughs> At least he gets it going straight, but... Oh, uh, I'm sure... Mr. Roberts does not appreciate that too much. Is that the end of the race? Well, they're near the end of the race here. They're in the lead lap, so... Yeah, he gets going, but near the end of the race, Wallace dumps him. <laughs> so, I think that'll do it, though. Yeah, this was the last lap. He literally did this on the last lap, coming to the checkered flag. Dumps him a second time in the race. I'm sure he does not appreciate that. So, kind of a rough one for pretty much everybody here. That was a very rough race. Lots of cautions. Mitch with 21st. That's a tough one. He's going to have a lot of climbing to do in the league the season here. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, we still had a lot of people. Oh, wait. These are people that... Uh, okay, these are people that were not in the race. So how do, is there any way to see like how many people... And the actual, that actually were in the race. Head incidents? I don't think we can, but. I guess I can just kind of look. Wesley did not have any incidents. And Nick had no incidents. And then, of course, there's plenty of people that should have had no incidents, but got run into by someone else, for example. But. Pretty messy out here, but that'll do it. Uh, very happy with that finish. I somehow got the pull, and then somehow did not do something embarrassing. <laughs> uh, I did exactly what I was hoping I would do, and that's just get a clean top 10 finish. I'll, uh, I'm hoping I'll be more competitive at the larger tracks. Maybe Phoenix. I think I might be okay at Phoenix. Well, that'll be... We'll, we'll see about that, but a little more comfortable there than I am at most... Uh, of the shorter tracks so looking forward to that next week p7 today and uh well when the when the laps were green it was pretty darn fun so at least there's that and uh with 175 laps at least we did have uh some time to race <laughs> but that'll do it thanks for watching uh be sure to check out other perspectives of this race as well lots of great content creators in here um, even besides Nick and Gavin, the obvious ones. So, um, if you're curious what other people's races look like, please do so. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.